Hi, this is Natalie with The Wisdom Within. In this segment of Intuition Primer, Your Magical Inner Compass, we're covering the last four of the eight psychic clair senses. So if you haven't heard the first four, please see the prior segment. Uh, so, all right, let's begin. So clair sentience is the, um, the fifth eight uh, clair sentience. Uh, can't get this right. Clair sense, <laughs> psychic sense. Uh, and clair sentience is when you feel something in your physical body. This differentiates from clair empathy, which is clear emotional feeling that we covered in the first segment. Uh, with clair, people who are clear empathetic, who feel things in their emotional body, they feel it in their emotions. So they feel love, hate, anger. They That information comes in as a, an emotional feeling. For someone who's clairsentient, it comes in as a, a physical feeling within their body, like a gut feeling, or, or like chill bumps, uh, or like hair raising on the back of your neck, or some other fashion like that. That's clairsentience, people who feel things in their body. Uh, I have a good friend back in Sedona who can tell when um, there's either a highly negative situation a highly negative energy around because she actually uh, feels nauseated, like like she's kind of like gonna throw up. Basically, it's not pleasant, but um, that's a, a strong sense for her where she knows something is definitely not right. So she slows down and pays attention to what's going on in the circumstance before her. So that's clear sentience. Uh, clear tangency is uh, clear uh, touching. Uh, clear. People who can uh, receive information when they touch things, so like jewelry or someone's wallet. They uh, can read people, um, tell them all about their current, past, present, a little bit about their future, what's coming down, uh, just by picking up their jewelry or their wallet. Uh, these are people who also, some um, people who are clear tangent can also uh, touch antiques or old buildings and give you a uh, really interesting and accurate history on those things. So that's clear tangency, clear touching. Uh, clear salience is when we smell things. So this is if you're puttering around the house and all of a sudden you smell your dad's favorite cigar and your dad might have passed away a couple years ago. Or you're out, um, you know, in your car and all of a sudden you smell lilacs and that was your favorite aunt's flower. Now there's nothing in your car that <laughs> is full of flowers or lilacs. So just know that might be your aunt popping in to encourage you or let you know she's with you. Uh, so people who are clear salient uh, will often receive information um, through uh, their sense of smell. Uh, things may smell bad if the situation's not good for them. Um, things may smell clear or light or good um, if the situation is good for them. So that's clear salience. Uh, and Claire Augustus is clear tasting. Um, so that's when you have a, a bad taste in your mouth over something or an opportunity or situation that arises. Now, there are also people who, this is one of their primary gifts um, and it's kind of a unique gift in the sense that they have Claire Augustus, clear tasting. They might, sm uh, they might um, smell, they can smell when people are sick. So uh, for all, you know, for outward appearances, the person looks perfectly healthy, they look good, but uh, a person who's Claire Augustus and has this, you know, honed uh, intuitive sense, they could be with them and, and something about that person smells off or bad to them, or sometimes I've heard them say it smells like garlic, you know, like something about them doesn't seem right and they can smell it. Um, so that's Claire Augustus. There are also some intuitives who work for the um, police force, FBI, CIA, all that kind of stuff that have this gift that can go to a scene and they pick up information um, on the type of weapons or you know, chemicals that may have been involved in a crime and they can taste it. They get metallic -y taste. Um, they can uh, sort of sense what's in um, blood by touching it. So uh, that's Claire Augustus, people who can um, get a, t not by touching it, excuse me. So, but they get, a, they get a, a, a taste of what may have been off in a person's blood system or the chemicals that were used in a crime scene or something like that. When they taste it in their mouth, um, not because they're drinking or eating anything, but only because they're in a situation where they're receiving information that's coming through their sense of taste to let them know or to give them a clue uh, about a situation. That's Claire Augustus. So those are the last four of the eight psychic senses. What I would like to say going forward is that 
Um, I want to encourage people, you know, not to look at these as a ladder that, you know, we're all shooting to like work through these and wouldn't it be cool if I had all of these so I could know more about people, places, and things. That's actually not really the purpose of the eight psychic clear senses. Now I really believe that we should all be in touch with our intuition because this is how we can hear our own higher wisdom. This is how we can hear uh, God, a source, um, you know, however you refer to it. This is how we can communicate with the divine. So I really do believe in um, helping people develop their in intuition, but I don't really foster the concept of the goal is to get all of these eight psychic uh, senses. Uh, in uh, the yogi tradition, these are psychic gifts that come as part of the spiritual journey. Um, as you deepen your spirituality and you deepen your connection to the divine or the creator, um, these are intuitive gifts that are naturally come your way by that deep in, um, spiritual practice. Now, one of the reasons why I, I like to reinforce this concept of not chasing all of these down just because they're cool is because... Um, as you open up your senses, um, you're, you're, you become much more sensitive to everything around you, the energy around you, people, places, and, and things. And if you don't have a strong spiritual foundation, um, it can really imbalance you. So I really believe that it's important to develop your intuition um, in, in tandem with developing and deepening your spirituality because your spirituality serves as the foundation for the intuition. And the intuition is a really a gateway into your spirituality. So they, they really, to me, um, belong together. <laughs> and uh, and that's, um, that's what I believe anyway. So food for thought. I hope you're enjoying this video series, Intuition Primer. So stay tuned for the next one. We're going to talk about some of Intuition's uh, messengers and... Um, uh, what else? Messengers, uh, pitfalls, and some myths about intuition. Boy, and there are a lot of myths about intuition. So we'll cover those in the next segment. Stay tuned. This is Natalie Eve Marquis from The Wisdom Within.